Hey, what's going on guys? So one of y'all wanted to see this map in the dark with just an emissive lighting, pretty much illuminating a character around the area. Now obviously you can't replace actual lights with emissive lighting, but somebody wanted to see it for this kind of effect, like a scary movie or a game, and you're just illuminating the scene with, you know, one light. You know, it reminds me of Silent Hill when I played it as a kid you really couldn't see anything but around your character which is really creepy so yeah here it is I'm just gonna walk around in, in the woods um, to just kind of show you in this medieval map from Quixel uh, no I did not make this map it's a map you can download for free in the epic marketplace so if you want to test it around and try it around you can do that as well uh, so yeah the emissive lighting with Lumen is actually pretty darn cool it's really nice it does illuminate quite a bit. I mean, I do have a giant ball on top of my head, but still, and these zombies are really fast. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool. Let's walk around the village in the dark, and hopefully you all don't get scared too easily because, you know, this is scary stuff right here. I'm just having so much fun with Unreal Engine 5. This is crazy stuff. Nanite and Lumen enabled in this one. These guys aren't moving. There you go. Ooh, that was a nice shot. I can't wait till DLSS comes out for UE5. Because this frame rate is... Hopefully, I'm hoping for it to get to double or something. I mean, it's not doing bad considering I'm recording as well on the same PC right now. Let me go to that fire area. Look at this. How cool is this? This is really cool. Go right here. Was this really hard to do? Like before dynamic lighting? Like I can't even imagine how hard this would have been the traditional way back then when you had to bake maps and bake light. But now it's legit. You put a light on your character, walk around and it's dynamic. It'll change. He's stuck. Is that it? Yeah. This is really cool. And I guess the performance goes up a little bit when it's nighttime because there's not a lot going on. Because we're actually getting pretty decent FPS right now. Almost at 60. Yeah, we just hit 60 right there. Pretty awesome stuff, man. But like I said, you see there's still light on the scene because it's not going to replace it. It'll be too dark if you just have dismissive lighting the whole time, unless you're going for that effect, of course. I don't think, yeah, there's someone blocking one. This is so neat. Man, I cannot wait until developers actually, if they decide to use this engine, to create some games, because the potential that, like a full-on actual game developer company using this engine is going to be insane. It's going to be so much fun. I just hope they don't focus too much on graphics and, you know, go back to the old school ways of good storyline as well. Because nowadays the games are getting shorter, if you haven't noticed. They're just really short. I mean, they look good, but they're short. But yeah, I'm going to go to the wooded area, and that's pretty much it for this demo, just to show you all the emissive lighting with Lumen. 
in Unreal Engine 5. Just don't want to get lost in the woods. That's why I went to the village first. Look at this. This is neat. Now, I'm not supposed to be back here, but I broke all the blocking volumes, so I can be back here. So you're probably going to see a lot of weird stuff here that doesn't look right. Because this is not part of the demo, I just, I'm back here so I can show you. Yeah, I like that thing right there. Cool, man. Okay, that's it. If you all have any questions, if you want me to do some other tests, just let me know, and I'll see y'all later.